I'm Kristen Shaughnessy with the third of my four part series on two year old Nikos Matsukatov. He was born profoundly deaf with no hearing nerves, so hearing aids and even cochlear implants haven't worked. He's now part of a clinical trial at NYU Langone Medical Center for auditory brainstem implant or ABI, a procedure that right now is only approved for older patients. It's been a long road for Nico's parents, Olga and Georgie. He has nobody but you and you have to go and you have to deal with it every single day. For a few months you deal with the question why and why is it your child, then you um, somehow deal with the anger and frustration, then you put yourself together. The ABI surgery was done in June. Then in July, doctors did a sedated activation to make sure there were no unforeseen side effects because there are a lot of nerves in that neurologically congested space. Facial nerve stimulation, dizziness, throat tightening, pain in your leg, you know, this is the, the, the center of all of your body. So you have 12 cranial nerves and we're trying to get to a certain area to stimulate that so he has just an auditory response. Now the question is, will Nikos hear anything? And if he does, how long will it take for him to even recognize a sound? Something at almost three years old he's never done. We were at NYU Langone Medical Center to record the first time Dr. Shapiro activated Nikos ABI. A team of audiologists keeps him busy with toys so that if and when he hears something, he will look up to find the beeping. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everyone is waiting for any indication from Nikos that he is hearing something. What's happening is similar to a hearing test. Dr. Shapiro is stimulating different electrodes to see if Nikos responds to any of them. There are 21 electrodes on the paddle, mm -hmm. and our goal is to try to stimulate as many of them as we can. Dr. Shapiro says it's not so much about the number of electrodes Nikos responds to, but how robust they might work. In the final part of our series, we'll tell you how the first day of live activation went. Kristen Shaughnessy, New York One.